Guess what? It's time for a real estate market update. These September numbers have come out and I'm here with Carter Owens, one of our realtors here at Julie Woods and Associates to let you know what is happening in our market. So Carter, has the average sales price gone down or up since last month? It's gone up. Yeah. That's right. It's gone from 277 to 284.5. So that's good news. But guess what? The number of sales has gone down. So in August, we actually had 78 sales in our market. This month we've had 56. Guess what that's directly correlated with? The interest rates, okay? So the biggest thing for you to know, if you have a house, if you're wanting to sell, or if you know someone who's wanting to sell, or if you're wanting to buy, if you're wanting to buy in that 300 and under price point, that is where the bulk of our sales are occurring. And matter of fact, between 200, the sales process of 200 to 299, 24 properties sold in that range. If you, if you're trying to sell something 400 and up, between 400 and 500, only two properties sold at that price point over the last month. Two. Um, oh, between 500 and 749, like eight houses sold, all right? So we are seeing the slowing of the market. The month of inventory has gone, it was 3.1 months, it's now 3.2 months. So it's gone up just a titch, but we would expect that to happen. It's also kind of entering that holiday season, which is when things get quieter. The bottom line is, is it still a buyer's market or a seller's market? It's still a seller's market. It's still a seller's market, all right? So that means sellers have the upper hand, buyers are still, Kind of struggling a little bit it depends on the price point if you're 400 enough you're good buyers if you're two to 300 you're struggling okay because you're still probably going to deal with multiple offers we're here to help glad to let you know what's happening with the market